dear students i am dr k kannan professor mechanical engineering anjali ammal mahalingam engineering college koilvindi i am happy to meet you again through the video lecture series on the subject heat and mass transfer and this is lecture number 111 on the module conduction heat transfer the topic for today's discussion is heat transfer in fin part 1 so we recap from the previous lecture uh, we studied earlier the steady state heat transfer one dimensional steady state heat transfer in uh, slab cylinder and uh, sphere and we solved problems on composite slab uh, composite uh, cylinder composite sphere uh, also we discussed the uh, steady state heat transfer with the heat generation we solved the problems on the critical thickness of radius and so on and today we are going to discuss the heat transfer in fin so the end of the first lecture on the fin uh, the student will be able to define what is a fin and uh, the student will name the types of the fin and the student will derive the heat transfer equation for a fin and the student will be able to solve problem in long fin of infinite length so the heat transfer from a particular surface by convection it is given here you have a surface of area a and the temperature of the surface is ts and some fluid is flowing over the surface of temperature t infinity with the heat transfer coefficient h now the amount of heat transferred by the convection is given by q equal to hea into ts minus t infinity now as a engineer we would like to increase the heat transfer from the surface so for increasing the heat transfer what are all the options available so look at the equation on the right hand side h is the heat transfer coefficient a is the area ts and t infinity are the temperature so the heat transfer coefficient depends on the velocity of the flow and uh, uh, depends on the properties of the fluid temperature surface temperature depending on the working condition of the surface or the working condition of the machine on which the surface is found and t infinity is the temperature of the fluid so it may be water gas air or any fluid and uh, changing all these conditions it will change the working condition so it is not in our uh, control so the only thing to enhance the heat transfer what the engineer can do within the uh, limited uh, within the constraints available is increasing the heat transfer area so again uh, we should not take the we, can, we should not change the size of the Uh, object so overall so area here in the plate it is going to be w into l we should not alter the width and the uh, length of the uh, plate so without altering the overall size of the plate we have to increase the uh, heat transfer area so one such arrangement is like this so here look at the same size of the plate surface temperature t infinity t h everything is everything is uh, the same now look at here the surface is extended and this extended surface is called as fins so now we look at the area what is area so this this area the red color area the the shaded with red color is the area for the heat transfer so look at the two diagram so here the area is more so we are not uh, alter the overall dimension of the plate uh, in the overall in the same size of the plate we have increased the area by attaching surfaces so the extended surfaces they are called as fins so the fins are extended surfaces attached to enhance the heat transfer from a surface so that is the objective so they are attached to the surface uh, to enhance the heat transfer and there are different types of fin longitudinal fin of constant cross section longitudinal fin of variable cross section circumferential fin and the pin fin are the spines and look at this this is longitudinal fin of constant cross section so this is heat transfer in the x direction this is the longitudinal direction and uh, 
the cross section of the uh, uh, fin is constant so what is cross section w into t which is constant and uh, look at here this is a triangular fin this is rectangular fin this is triangular fin and the cross section in the direction of the flow heat uh, direction of the heat flow uh, is very that is variable longitudinal fin of variable cross section and uh, the fin attached to a cylinder is called a circumferential fin so again circumferential fin of a constant profile or uh, constant cross section or a circumferential fin of variable cross section everything is possible and the pin fin so this is pin fin of a variable cross section and the pin fin of a, a circular cross section pin fin of rectangular cross section pin fin of triangular cross section everything is possible so these are all the basic four types of fins and uh, these are all other two types of fins so this is the uh, pipeline uh, through which the liquid is flowing and outside the gas is flowing so here you find the fins here so the circular type of fin the uh, circumferential fins on the uh, outer surface of the tube and look at uh, here this is vertical tube of uh, uh, some, some uh, rectangular cross section and again liquid is flowing through the tube vertical tubes and you have the gas flow across the liquid flow so again the fins are provided so in both the diagram the fins are provided on the gas side not the liquid side so here liquid is flowing inside gas is flowing outside so we have the fins on the outside so here again liquid is flowing inside the tube and gas is flowing outside the tube so the fins are provided on the gas flow side and these are all some of the industrial fins uh, uh, which you find a variety of applications and this is a innovative design of the fin for a specific application these are all called as pin fins so circular cross section these are all again pin fins of rectangular cross section attached and this is a small fan with the fins at the bottom for heat transfer heat uh, we have to remove the heat produced by the fan working so these are all the fins and this is an automobile radiator so we have horizontal fins so through the uh, for the in the direction of the air flow we have the uh, fins and this is the uh, mother i mean a uh, pcb board so here you have the fins for improving the heat transfer and here again a pcb here also we have the fins to increase the heat transfer when the pcb is working uh, heat is generated because of the current flow and uh, uh, the device the, the, the this is all this are all the fin actually this is called as heat sink in the electronic cooling system and which is which are all used for removal of the heat energy this is uh, uh, a cylinder block of a two stroke cycle uh, automobile engine a two wheeler engine so where you find the uh, fins for removal of heat energy from the cylinder block so these are all the some of the ex industrial examples uh, for fins and the heat transfer analysis for the fin so you have a we take a rectangular fin sim simple fin the, the fin is attached to a base the heat is from the base the heat is given to the fin by conduction and the heat is conducted from the base of the fin to the tip of the fin and the fin surface is exposed to the convection environment so the heat is removed by convection so heat transfer in a fin is the combination of conduction heat transfer and the convection heat transfer so the heat transfer analysis in the fin first thing we have to de derive the heat transfer equation for the fin so considering uh, the two modes of heat transfer one is conduction another one is convection so for that we take this uh, diagram i have a fin attached to the surface and uh, of length l so x is zero at the base of the fin and x is measured in this direction and uh, you have the other dimension of the fin so the length of the fin this is the width of the fin and thickness of the fin and we take a small element in the fin uh, the element uh, in the element the heat is uh, heat transfer uh, is shown by arrowhead the heat is entering in the left hand side by conduction mode and heat is leaving on the right hand side of the element by the conduction mode and heat is leaving from the surface by the convection mode and the various conditions what we assume or assumptions for the analysis so we we take steady state heat transfer so the heat heat transfer with respect to time uh, is constant the properties of the material are constant the property thermal conductivity density specific heat all the properties of the material are constant 
radiation from the surface is negligible we consider only the convection mode of heat transfer and conduction mode of heat transfer radiation from the fins are negligible and we deal with the one dimensional heat transfer in the longitudinal direction so one dimensional heat transfer in the x direction that is what the longitudinal direction and heat entering in the element in the x direction that is qx equal to from the fourier law of heat conduction minus ka into dt by dx then heat leaving in the x direction so this is qx plus dx so this is equal to taking the first order uh, first order term qx plus dqx by dx into dx so substituting for qx minus k dt by dx and d by dx of minus k dt by dx into dx this is what the uh, heat leaving in the x direction and the uh, heat conversion from the surface of the element so q equal to hcas into t minus t infinity where a is the surface area which is 2 times of w into t w w is the width of the plate and t is the thickness of the fin and dx is the uh, thickness of the element so 2 times of w plus t it is what called as perimeter p so p into dx so surface area equal to perimeter into dx and writing the energy balance for the heat transfer through the element so heat conducted into the element is equal to heat conducted out of the element plus heat convected from the element so qx equal to qx plus dqx by dx d, uh, into dx plus heat convection and substituting qx, qx equal to minus ka dt by dx equal to minus ka dt by dx plus d by dx of minus ka dt by dx d into dx into hp into uh, hp into dx into t minus t infinity now this ka dt by dx on the left hand side and right hand side they are dropped and the dx term is dropped because it is there in the term and finally the equation is minus ka d square t by dx square plus hp by hp into uh, t minus t infinity equal to zero so rearranging the term so d square t by dx square minus hp by ka equal to t minus t infinity equal to 0. So, this is the uh, governing equation for the heat transfer in a fin. And here, we introduce a term theta, which is the temperature difference, t minus t infinity. So, t is a function of x, t infinity constant, temperature of the fluid. So, d theta by dx equal to uh, dt by dx and d square theta by dx square equal to d square t by dx square. And we define another parameter m equal to hp by ka. So then substituting, so d square t by dx square equal to d square theta by dx square and hp by ka equal to m square and t minus t infinity equal to theta which is equal to 0. Now the solution for this ordinary differential equation is theta equal to c1 e to the power of minus mx plus c2 e to the power of mx. Now we have two constants here in the equation T1, C1 and C2 and to evaluate the two constants we require the boundary conditions, two boundary conditions to calculate the, uh, the temperature constant C1 and C2. To fix the boundary condition, we take uh, four different types of fins, long fin of infinite length, short fin with the end insulation, short fin with the end convection and finite length with the specific temperature at the end. So, we have four different boundary, boundary conditions and we solve problems, we, we derive the temperature distribution equation and the heat transfer for all the four different types of fins and we solve problems on the uh, four different types of fins. First, we take a long fin of a infinite length and the solution what is given there is uh, theta equal to c1 e to the power of minus mx plus c2 e to the power of mx and we take a long very long fin so x equal to 0 at the base of the fin t equal to tb and x tends to infinity long fin and t tends to t is equal to t infinity and we define the boundary conditions in terms of theta so sub, i mean x equal to 0 theta equal to theta b and x tends to infinity uh, theta equal to 0 because t, b, t infinity minus t infinity equal to 0. So, the boundary conditions for long fin of infinite length at x equal to 0 theta equal to theta b, this is the boundary condition at the base of the fin 
and x tends to infinity theta equal to 0 this is the boundary condition at the end of the fin or the tip of the fin and using the first boundary condition x equal to 0 here uh, e to the power 0 equal to 1 and here again e to the power 0 equal to 1 so theta b equal to c1 plus c2 using the first boundary condition uh, theta b equal to c1 plus c2 using the second boundary condition we will get e to the power of minus infinity plus c to the power c2 into e to the power plus infinity so e to the power minus infinity is 0 so this term becomes 0 and uh, c2 into e to the power of plus infinity this gives some numerical value so a numerical value multiplied by c2 equal to 0 on the left hand side so e to the power uh, infinity is not equal to 0 it has some numerical value so definitely c2 equal to 0 so using the second boundary condition c2 equal to 0 so in this equation now you substitute c2 equal to 0 and uh, when you delete c1 c2 here uh, c1 equal to theta b so temperature distribution theta equal to theta b into the e to the power of minus m max and theta by theta b uh, theta equal to t minus t infinity T B equal uh, theta b equal to t b minus t infinity equal to e to the power of minus m max. So this is what temperature distribution equation uh, for the fin. And using this equation, uh, you can calculate temperature uh, for any value of x. So t infinity is the fluid temperature, t b is the base temperature of the fin, m is a constant, uh, and x is the position of the position uh, from the base. And rate of heat transfer, we calculate minus Ka dt by dx at x equal to 0. At the base of the fin, we have to calculate the heat transfer. So, Q equal to minus Ka, calculating from here, calculating dt by ds and substitute x equal to 0. So, we will get Tb minus T infinity uh, into um, minus M. And uh, Ka into M equal to, the minus sign is dropped. So, K into uh, square root of hp by k m equal to square root of hp k hp by k a and the temperature t b minus t infinity so simplifying the heat transfer equal to t b minus t infinity uh, into square root of hp k a for a long infinite uh, fin so the heat transfer equal to t b minus t infinity uh, into square root of hp by k a hp k a and the temperature uh, distribution is t minus t infinity divided by Tb minus T infinity equal to e to the power of minus Mx. So, these are all the two equations required uh, that you have to remember or again these equations are available in the heat and mass transfer data book. Uh, you can conveniently take the equation and solve the problem. And you will have a break here. So, we will have a reflection spot. Uh, here we, we, we answer few questions uh, based on the uh, previous uh, 15 minutes lecture uh, to understand your grasping power. The first question, uh, fin will increase the heat transfer area and heat transfer. If you say true or false. Fin will increase the, will increase the heat transfer area and heat transfer. So, if your answer is true, it is correct. Name few types of fins. You can even write the answer on the paper and you can verify uh, with the lecture. Longitudinal fin, the answers will be longitudinal fin of constant cross section, longitudinal fin of variable cross section, circumferential fin, uh, pin fin are the spines and the many more types. Uh, the pin fin of a uniform cross section, pin fin of variable cross section. Uh, uh, the circumferential fin of constant cross section or variable cross section. So, that is possible. So, you can write any four or five types of fins. What is a spine? Pin fins are called as spine. Uh, pin fin of uh, constant cross section or variable cross section, uh, it is called as spine. And to understand the uh, concept, we solve two examples on the long infinite fin. A temperature rise of 50 degrees Celsius in a circular shaft of 50 mm diameter is caused by the amount of heat generated 
due to friction in the bearing mounted on the crankshaft. The thermal conductivity of the shaft material is 55 watts per meter Kelvin. Heat transfer coefficient is 7 watts per meter square Kelvin. Determine the amount of heat transfer through the shaft, assuming that the shaft is of is a rod of infinite length. And the reading the problem, it is a fin of infinite length. That is the problem. The temperature rise Tb minus T infinity is given as 40 degrees Celsius. And diameter of the uh, uh, fin is 50, millim 50 millimeter, which is 0 0.05 meter. Thermal conductivity of the material is 55 watts per meter Kelvin. And heat transfer coefficient is 7 watts per meter square Kelvin. And uh, for a long fin of infinite length, area equal to, this is a circular fin fin, area equal to pi by 4 d square, which is pi by 4 into 0 0.05 square equal to 1.9625 in 10 power minus 3 meter square. And the perimeter equal to pi into d, which is pi into 0 0.05 equals 0.157 meter. The rate of heat transfer, Q equal to Tb minus T infinity into square root of HPKA. So, Tb minus T infinity is given as 50. So, 50 into square root of uh, 7 into 0.157 into 55 into 1.9625 into 10 power minus 3, which is equal to 17.22 watts. The amount of heat transfer through the fin is 17.22 watts. That is the answer to the question. We take another example. Very long copper rod, 20 mm in diameter, extends horizontally from a plain heated wall maintained at 100 degrees Celsius. The surface of the rod exposed to an environment at 20 degrees Celsius with the convective heat transfer coefficient 8.5 watts per meter square Kelvin. Work out the heat loss if the thermal conductivity of the copper is 400 watts per meter Kelvin. Further estimate how long the rod in order to be considered as infinite. So, the temperature of the base temperature is 100 degrees Celsius, fluid temperature T infinity equal to 20 degrees Celsius, diameter of the rod is 0 0.02 meter and thermal conductive of the fin material is 400 watts per meter Kelvin and the heat transfer coefficient is 8.5 watts per meter square Kelvin. First, we have to calculate the heat transfer. So, for long fin, area equal to uh, pi by 4 d square which is pi by 4 into 0 0.02 square which is 3.14 10 power minus 4 meter square perimeter equal to pi into d. So, pi into 0 0.02 equal to 0 0.0628 meter and we calculate the parameter m equal to square root of h p by k a. So, 8.5 into uh, perimeter is 0 0.0628 divided by 400 into 3.14 10 power minus 4 which is 2.06. And the rate of heat transfer is Q equal to Tb minus T infinity into square root of HPKA, substituting Tb 100, T infinity 20, H equal to 8.5, P equal to 0 0.0628, K equal to 400, A equal to 3.14 10 power minus 4, uh, calculating the heat transfer equal to 20.71 watts. And the length of the rod to be considered as infinite, infinite the tan HML equal to point. 9999 and uh, from this ml equal to tan h inverse of 0 0.9999 which is 4.95 so length of the rod equal to 2.4 meter when the length of the rod equal to 2.4 meter we can consider this as a fin of infinite length and the rate of heat transfer is 20.71 watts and length of the rod to be considered as infinite is 2.4 meters and these are all the books I used for uh, preparing the notes and you can refer to it for further clarification on the subject and I have published a book on the subject, uh, you can refer to it for additional problems on the fins. And if you have any queries, you can write to me, I will sincerely answer to all your queries uh, through the email ID. So, thank you, we will meet again.